Hi guys, and welcome to Let's Try Regency Solitaire. Solitaire, you might be asking? Yes, my friends, Solitaire. I saw this game after Felicia Day tweeted about it. I was actually in Canada at the time, and my laptop wasn't able to run much games. And the moment I saw her tweet, I was like, I have to try this. This will run on my laptop. I love Solitaire. Why have I not heard of this game before? Why am I not already playing it? So I rushed out, bought it, and... I killed a lot of time playing that game. Uh, I think, like, after I'd launched I played it for, like, a couple of hours. And so now I'm home, and I said to myself, I have to record this game. I really have to record this game. And here I am. And I figure I would bring this all to your attention for Solitaire, because I know, you know, not everyone is into massively into Solitaire, but there is a thing with Windows 10 lately that I noticed that that requires an annual subscription now if you want to play Solitaire on there, which I believe is $9.99 for a year. Well, my friends, you could just get this game on Steam because it's like, what, £6.99? I think it's like 25% off at the moment, which makes it £5.24. Um, I'm not sure when it, in fact, that ends on the 3rd of August, so in a couple of days. I just really like this game. I just love Solitaire. And I just think the art in this is gorgeous as well. So we'll dive in and maybe play a few games. I have streamed Solitaire before and I will say, it did not go well for me. I lost like every game. I feel under pressure when I record games to be good, so watch. Watch as I be horrible. England, 1812. King George III has fallen ill. His flamboyant son, the Prince of Wales, now sits upon the throne. Welcome to the Regency Era. High-spirited Bella is the eldest daughter of a respectable family. She dreams of dancing in fashionable ballrooms and winning the heart of a handsome suitor. Perhaps even the sophisticated and most eligible Lord Henry Worthington. But Bella's hopes have been dashed now that her foolish brother Edward has gambled away the family fortune, leaving her facing an arranged marriage to her odious neighbour, Mr. Bleakley. Can Bella restore her family's wealth and reputation? And will her dreams come true? Yes, Regency Solitaire, we can do this. We will make Bella like the richest and happiest girl out, okay? We have got this. Hopefully. I am playing a normal because there is no way I was going to try hard while recording because I'm probably going to fail as is. So you've got this sort of a map that you work your way up in a difficulty. Um, so let's just start with the drawing room. Papa? When will we hold a ball? Enough, Bella. The extravagance of holding a ball to our humble abode is well beyond our means. My sister and I will become old maids if we don't go out into society soon. If you want for a husband... I said that weird. But if you want for a husband, Bella, your neighbour Mr. Blickley would make an acceptable suitor, surely. I should die of boredom if we were to marry. Husband, will you stop extolling the virtues of that man, Blickley? I declare, he's the most odious gentleman in the county. Bella can do better. Margaret, dearest, calm yourself and become acquainted with the facts, if you please. I cannot settle any fortune upon Bella, a fact that Bleakley is willing to overlook. Indeed, we should consider ourselves thankful if he makes an offer of marriage. Mama, Mama, I've received a letter. My godmother, Lady Fleetwood, has invited me to a grand ball in Bath. Finally, a dream come true! Bella's dream about going to Bath? Girl! How wonderful! You'll be dancing among England's most fashionable and eligible gentlemen. We must consider your wardrobe. Fetch out my old trunk. There's some finery inside from my old debutante days. And here we go with the solitaire! Oh yes, yeah, so... Here are the rules, if you're not acquainted with Solitaire. Is that the word I want to use? I don't know, but it's the word that I have used. The basics. Click on a... How do you say that? Tableau? Table? Table card! 
is what I'm going to go for. Just, just bear with me. One number higher or lower than a face-up foundation card at the bottom of the screen. No, an ace can go on a king and vice versa. So, here we go. Um, I'm going to go for ace and then king and then queen and then no jack, so king and then draw a stock card because we have no aces or queens to play. So we've got queen. Um, have we got a jack or a king? Not that I can see. Ace. Okay, we've got we've got two, three, four, five. I was just seeing if there was any way I could have utilized that three again. Back to three, see if there was another four, and then do yeah, four, five. Strategizing, guys, I'm strategizing. Um have we got a four or six? Not that I can see. I am most likely missing things. Um we'll play this seven. Have we got a six or an eight? We have neither. So we'll draw from the pile. Three or an ace, we've got three. We have three, but obviously we can't play that. Um, two out of four, we don't have. Six, we have six. Seven. And we don't have a six or an eight. We've got a jack. So we're gonna do ten, jack, ten. Oh, we could do a nine or a jack. We'll go Jack. And of course it reveals another 9. Um, we don't have a Queen or a 10. But we just got an 8. So we can do 7 or 9 here. Um, I'll do the 7. Because I was hoping that would, you know, luck would befall me and I would get an 8 there. But apparently not. Um, have we got a 6 or an 8? We do not. We now have 6. Um, but we don't have a 5 or a 7. We king, queen. Um, we don't have a jack or a king. Got four. Oh, okay. How do I want to do this? Three, and I can play a four or a two. But I think I'll do a two. Ace. Oh, or I could have done three, four. Fuck. I ca I can undo it, but I'll commit to it. Uh, five, four, three, four. So that worked out. Um, we'll draw from the stock card again, stock pile again. Jack, we've not got a queen or a ten. King, seven, we'll play a six. And we're left with two nines here, so we're looking for basically a ten or an eight. Thank you. Um, and there we go. So we got three stars and you can see we got points up there as well and this is more or less your scorecard afterwards so we got perfect three stars we got 70 gold um a one multiplier best combo of five plus a bonus of 500 making the hand total 550 550 570 50 <laughs> and chapter total 507 oh my god 70 um chapter goes is to find mama's trunk uh record combo five We'll move on and we can set this as our desktop wallpaper but I am not going to do that so continue and this is drawing room two uh yeah drawing room two mama's trunk is hidden under some cards find it to progress to the next chapter so we've got a slightly different layout here so we've got four uh we're looking for a three or a five we've got a three have we got any fives no we've got a three a two an ace king or we can do a queen jack and we've got a combo going so we start at a combo by playing six cards in a row combos boost your gold multiplier so keep them going for more gold click end combo when you need to draw a new card from the stockpile um 10 9 8 9 8 7 6 and we found Mama's trunk. Ah, wonderful. You found my trunk, Bella. Look inside for something you can wear to the ball. There was an exquisite fan in Mama's trunk. Am I just going to wear the fan? Because that is a completely different outfit than I had in mind. But that might, you know, get some search. Um, five. And then six. Seven. 
And I guess that's our combo done, because there's no 8, there is no 6. We got a combo of 16 there, I believe that was, so our multiplier is 2.1. So we've got a 3, so we can play the 2, the ace. Um, draw from the... the... stockpile. Got a couple of kings, we can do enough of those, but we can do something with this 3 now. 8, we don't have a 9 or 7. 10, jack. 10. Don't have a 9 or a jack. 7. Play the 8. 6. Jack. Jack. King. We can play the ace. And we need a 3 or a 5. Here we go. Hand 2 complete. So we got 60 gold of, with a multiplier of 2.1 with a best combo of 16. Our bonus is 500, cards left 0, hand total 626 for a chapter total of 1196. And again, our record combo is 16, and we found Mama's trunk as well. Dear sister, I'm so delighted for you. When a young lady attends a ball, it is always a start of an adventure. Thank you, Charlotte. If only that were true. Her brother Edward, who I cannot help but love despite his being a complete greenhorn and losing all our money. Leaves me a little opportunity to resign myself to a future with Bleakley. But you must hold fast to your dreams, Bella. You will go to Bath. You have been practicing your dance steps for so long. If Lady Fortune truly smiles upon us, you could even hold a ball here someday. Bleakley need not be invited. Ah, <gasps> Charlotte! Now that would give me great joy. We can but dream. Come, help me get my things in order for the journey. So, Bella's Ballroom. Welcome to Bella's Makeover Project. Turn this antiquated room into a ravishing Regency ballroom and shop for the latest fashion accessories. We'll use the fan, um, that's free because we found it. It allows us to collect wild cards. So, all of these give bonuses to the end game. Um, solitaring. Yes. We'll buy it. We have a fan. Now, we should probably wear a dress. Bella looks stunning in this classical ballroom dress. It displays how many cards are in the stockpile, which is actually very, very handy. It costs 400. We have 11,096, so yes. And shall we buy the gloves? We cannot afford the gloves, so never mind. But it gives us two undoes per hand. That may be something to look into for the future, but for now, I believe we are done. I'm um, just pressing all the buttons. I do not want to set this as my desktop wallpaper. Okay, done. So, let's go to the uh, Grand Ballroom. Look at my beautiful goddaughter, Bella! It's her first ball here in Bath! I'm so proud of her! Bath truly is a place to visit this season. All the fashionable set are here, even Lord Henry Worthington. He is so handsome and generous and owns vast estates, yet none of the young heiresses dangling after him has won his heart. Oh, wait till he meets me! Oh, Mr. Bleakley? I had not expected to see you here. Bella, dear, I must be at your side wherever possible. Come dance with me. I insist upon it. I don't know what I was doing with that voice, but I've committed now. Then it would not be noble of me to refuse your offer, sir. But of course, I'm sure you will have many willing partners at this your first ball. But when... <laughs> Why did I commit to this? But when they learn your face is your, uh, excuse me, is your only fortune, the earls and marquises will look elsewhere. I will still be here waiting forever, cause I'm a nice guy, I swear, love me, Bella, I just insulted you, you should love me. Quite so, Mr. Bleakley. Is that meant to comfort me? <laughs> Do not keep me waiting too long, Bella. I am not a patient man. So, Solitaire, uh, let's find a Cupid statue. It, that is our goal, and achieve a combo of six. I have got this. Okay, so, we start off with eight. Uh, we have a joker and we have a wild card here. I think we'll do... 
So we can do seven or nine. Do I want to do seven or nine? Nine. Wild card. To just pick it up and pick up the joker as well. I did not read what that said, but we... <laughs> You found a joker. Click a joker to place it on the foundation, then any table card can be played on top. Um, I forgot what the wild card was, but I played it. So it was a joker, which is ideally not what I was wanting, but it's fine. We can play the queen, we can play the joker. Um, not the joker, the jack. Sorry. Um, yeah, I threw myself off there because I was still thinking of his voice. His voice right here. Um, so we need a queen or a ten, which we don't have. So next, we, uh, again, we don't have it. Queen. Um, I mean, we could play a joker, but I kind of like to keep that for special occasions. Um, play nine. I could play this to use it as sort of an... I mean, I can play any card, basically, with this. So ace to... I was worried I would regret that, but I don't. Two, three, because we got our combo. Awesome, four. But it cannot continue beyond that because we do not have a five or a three, so we'll end the combo. Um, eight, nine. We don't have a ten or an eight. Jack, we don't have a queen or a ten. Ace, we don't have a two or a king. King? We don't have a queen or an ace. Five. We have a four. We have five. We don't have a four or six. Seven. We don't have an eight or a six. Ten. We don't have an ace. <laughs> I'm starting to forget the names of the cards. We don't have an ace or a queen. Four. Again, no five or three. Six. We have a seven. But we don't have an eight or a six. And we only have 12 less left in this uh, stock card. Eight, we have a nine, but we don't have a ten or an eight. Five, we can do this. Four, five, but we don't have a three or a s not a three, a four or a six. But it's fine because we've got this. We can play the ace, we can play the two, we can play the ace, we can play the king, we can play the queen, we can play the king, and then end the combo. And we need a five or a seven. Oh my god, no, I think I failed this one. No, wait, 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 we can still turn this around. I need a 7 or a 5, 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 7 or a 5. Crap. So, we only got two stars for that. We got silver. We done great. That's not good enough for me. So, we can retry, or we can just go on. I think I'm going to retry. Because I'm determined, damn it. I will not fail at solitaire. I need my three stars. So we'll pick up the wild card, which is the king. Because um, I forget it shows it there. So we can play that. Um, I think, believe it's just any time is how the wild card works. Now. Jack, ten, nine, eight, seven, I mean, either way, I don't think I would have revealed... Well, maybe I would have revealed cards there. Um, we don't have a 7 or a 9, so next. 4 or 6. We'll go 6. We don't have a 5 or 7. King. Uh, we don't have an ace or queen. We've got another wild card, though, which again we can play at any time. Four or five. Which is it worth playing now? Because we can get a four and a six out of that. Or a four or a six out of that. Um, which I think it may not be worth playing just now anyway. Ace. Um, two. Three, two. Crap, would I have been better off playing four? So I'll show you the undo. Four. And then what I want to do is 5 for the wild card, which I could have played at any time, but still, it would just continue this. Oh, I suppose that doesn't really count as a combo. God damn it. Still, I showed you the undo feature. I am thorough. So I need 7 or 5, which I have not of neither. So 6 again. 3. Play 2. 
seven, eight, with a lot of eights on the, the board, four, ten, I need a jack or nine, king, queen, jack, ten, Ten again. Two. Six. Five. Four. Five. We don't have a six or a four. Ace. King. I'm an ace or queen. Six or a four. Queen or ten. Three. Um, we don't have a two or a four. And again, we have an 8 here, and here. Hmm. King, okay, well, we'll play the ace. 7, we'll play the 8, we'll play the 7. But we're definitely going to lose this round again. King, ace. 9, nope. 8, yeah, end hand. So this time we only got bronze. I guess I'm just showing you the uh, different states that you can have when you win a game too. Um, so we only got 10 gold, 1 multiplier, bonus for 100, hand total 110. We did not do well there, plus we need to still achieve a combo of 6. But this is where I'm going to wrap up this recording. I just really wanted to show off this game and just that it's a lot of fun once you sink into it. And I just really love Solitaire. So... I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments section if you plan on picking up this game and what your opinions of Solitaire is. Because I am so bad at this game because it requires so much thinking. I know it doesn't seem that way, but it requires a lot of thinking. And I'm, I'm not bad at it. I'm just bad at it when I have to play in front of others. But I kill so much time playing Solitaire. Every night before I used to, well, used to every night before I went to bed, I would play Solitaire on my phone. And this might take over the addiction. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're all having an amazing day. And I love you all. Bye.